Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's <laughs> son, I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before <laughs> noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. So, off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, lost it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? At your service. Fire's actually a disinfectant, so these are very hygienic. Till we meet again! Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person. Seize their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? 
Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lindworms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Now, what else might there be to discuss? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. Now please, take the capture device and see if you can find our missing lindworms. I suppose I needn't take up more of your time. But putting all that oh, sorry, aside for the yeah, moment, is there done. anything else? <laughs> Go away now. Simmer down, I see him. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And despair. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do but... Go fetch Dropnir. Drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Drop near. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Drop near, you need. You were saying. Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him.
Got it! I think. Son, we Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, Tyr. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. You ready to go? I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? See you out there. Yeah. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that, then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. What are y'all doing over there? You want to get a weapon made, or you want to plunge into oblivion? Because you can't do both. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so calm.
There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, right. Might have that one. It's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Oh! <laughs> 
right, brother. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. <sighs> you needn't keep staring. His fault Atreus ran off you. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our Where there's a gear like that, there's usually a chain somewhere. The sigil arrows should work with ice as well. Oh! <laughs> 
That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok. That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. 
Sigil arrows won't work on this. Where have they got the third one hidden away? <laughs> Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with a disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing in the world. Oh! 
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible huh? that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. <laughs> All right. Let's get that wheel turning. <laughs> Let me know if I can help with that. That's a start. Why don't we try a sigil arrow on the upper trough? Should help it stay frozen. <laughs> Just out of place. Ah, teamwork. Bugger, there's two of them. And they're angry. Hmm. <laughs> 
There's two of them. And they're angry. Behind you! Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that.
When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Harryar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the board. Folky! <laughs> Long as you know that ain't the way to the forge. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but could we just come back to this one? Trust me. Coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Loosen it up when it's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the door. 